one, two, three. Hey, welcome back to my video in YouTube. This is Angga Rizky from Indonesia. Oh, my name is Angga Rizky. You call me Angga, okay? Well, in this video, we're going to create the prototype for the user interface design with new tool, which is the ProtoPy. So, I'm gonna to show you how to create the user interface for the prototype with the ProtoPy. ProtoPy is a bit different from the Flintop principle of Invision on Marvel app. So, let's do that. By the way, currently I am in KL. Okay, so check it out. Alright, in this tutorial, we're going to basic tutorial for the... Uh, I'm gonna to introduce this prototype proto to create the user interface prototype. Well, you can download it from the prototype, proto, proto P. I don't know how to pronounce it with good. So it's called protopy.io. So create the most advanced prototype as easy as by yeah indeed. So in this uh, in this application you can create the advanced prototype without code experience. So everything is using the graphic user interface. So it's pretty easy to use, and I'm gonna show you how to create this and code free prototype and you can also share the prototype into your device which is the real time with the app store and google play you can download it from the android and ios okay so basically the google company line and starbucks and anything else and is using the protopy so i already download and i'm gonna to show you how it works So this is the uh, welcome pages from the Protopy Studio, and yeah, I use the free trial. It's only it's about four days left, so it's okay. I'm going to create new pie, new p pie. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, I'm gonna to close it. So this is your dashboard, and this is the preview of the Protopy. So just click here to pre to preview and close it. And this is your artboard, and you can easily to change this artboard size here, and you can custom size or you can use the uh, device available for the iPhone 7, iPhone SE, Galaxy Note. I prefer like use the iPhone SE. Okay, and this is scene number one, which is the pages number one, and you can. Click here to scenes number one, or you can create new scenes, and this is scenes number two. And if you if you want to delete the scenes, you just do manage scenes and delete, or you can also duplicate like this. Okay, and then if you want to rename the scenes, just double click. This is home, okay, and close. And the scenes name should be changed, which is the home. Okay. So in the left here, there's the toolbar, which is the image, video, shapes, and text and container. If you are to make the prototype for the scroll contents, you need to use the container or scroll content or paging. So in this case, we just use the basic basic prototype from this prototype. Well, I will create the rectangle to create the background here and i will give the name to the bg and i will group it so whenever you make the group it should automatically it's container so this is for the background okay and in the background i want to change the color to the fill color and this is you can use the rgb and you just need to use the hex code here sorry and i think i will use the purple color okay but unfortunately uh you don't have you you don't be able to make this color to the gradient or i just yeah i i tried and it doesn't working to change this color to the gradient modes so we use the solid color here okay 
and I'm gonna to create the button to create the rectangle for the button and here I will use the arithmetic operator to change the size of width so just minus b32 and make it to the center and the height should be small maybe 40 and I'm going to make it to the bottom and give the margin like this but yeah maybe if you are using the Flinto or Sketch app whenever you press ALT on your keyboard there's the red color red, red gaia uh, red gaia line red line there which is you can see the margin of its elements but when uh, when i click here when i pressing the alt keyboard there's no line and i don't know how many margins this button and yeah you know so here i will group it again and this is for the btn one and this is for the background and how to make the radius is pretty easy there is radius here maybe I want to make 10 okay and then if you want to customize the radius sorry you cannot so but uh, let's say that you want to make this different radius and I don't know how to do that and I think I can't because there's no menu to customize the radius it's on uh, you know whenever you change it automatically all of them you cannot make it one by one okay so here I'm gonna to change the color to the another color so I will use different color okay so this is the button sample button okay now I'm going to create the simple uh, interaction of design so whenever I click this button the background should be changed to the another color okay so just select this btn or you just need add trigger and this is the option which is the tap double tap touch down touch up long press fling and whenever you want so I prefer like to the tap because it's Pawn, I pawn, SE. and you can select the layer I will select the BTN number one and the finger it's only one so it's already have the action which is the tap button so I just to click plus button uh, what uh, what do you want mm, change the color okay and whenever you click this color you can a size is to the background Oh, sorry to the BG like this and just change the color maybe I will change it to the another color which is the uh, pink color yeah okay pink color so let's try to preview and click here and the color is changed so how to setting the duration or delay so here there's the uh, animation so I will use the linear and this is the duration maybe I will make it two seconds and the delay it's three seconds and I will preview one sorry one two three tara yeah it's like mm, orig origami studio yeah I remember this tools origami studio from Facebook designer team yeah so here so i will create new art a uh, new scenes new artboard and it's called the uh, last pages okay and i just want to create the text back to home okay and make it to the center like this and whenever I click this back to home, it should be changed to the uh, to the previous pages. So just jump and previous so scenes and the transition you can pop. Okay, and I'm going back to the home 
and click here and here and jump and then we can go to the last pages with the transition is fed so we just preview like this okay back to home and the color is pink like this so this is how the prototype working uh, this is the basic tutorial maybe in the next time that i can show you the another tutorial about the prototype well thank you very much for watching this video and i hope it useful so nice to meet you from indonesia and now i live in malaysia so if you are living in malaysia we can learn its other and just let me know so don't forget to like comment and share it to your friends See you in the next video tutorial. Goodbye.